imagine that there are five pyramids and the middle pyramid is a distribution center pyramid, like an Amazon distribution center. The other four pyramids are, are, are living pyramids, but one of them, but one of the, one of the four might actually be more commercial. But, um, so they're all connected through train and we generate, um, electricity for the train with solar energy. So we can still use the solar energy to make steam to run this train. And we can also use the Hoover Dam's electricity to run this train. And this train connects all the pyramids. And so um, this Jerusalem pyramid, I want to build a little miniature version of the old city of Jerusalem, but I want to build it with glass roads and crystal streets. So there are uh, four glass roads that go through the town that are like big wide roads that are made of glass. They have lights underneath and they glow anytime that the steam is going. Anytime that the sun is generating electricity, they glow. And then there are also crystal streets, which are the small side streets. And this is just, and it's a beautiful city. It's a tourist attraction. It's a way to generate money for the project. Um, but it's also an award for the people that work on the project because this is gonna be a big deal. I wanna build a way for these water towers to move. I wanna build train tracks. So, um, I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna be able to have these giant water towers on trains so that we can move them maybe with a winch or on like four train tracks so that we can move them with a winch. I mean, I'm talking about like very crazy ideas. So I'm sure what you guys are wondering is what would the apartments be like? Because it feels like everything's indoors. Would I have a view? And the answer is yes. Um, pretty much everyone's gonna have a view because I view, I, I imagine everyone's, apartments having a back porch that's upstairs. So the downstairs is your entrance, and then you go inside and then you can go up staircase to go to the upstairs because it's kind of a narrow house. And then there's a back porch that overlooks the, the inside of the pyramid. So it's overlooking a city because I imagine it, yeah, it's, it's, I imagine, yeah, we can build Jerusalem inside, but we can also build skyscrapers inside. And so we can build different types of interior cities um, based on like whatever our engineers can imagine. So another great thing about this place is that I want to create really cool common areas because, um, the living quarters are where you sleep and maybe you have a desk and stuff like that. But, um, the real place that everything happens is in the common areas, which, um, maybe, so one common area will have a back porch that has a view of Las Vegas because the common area doesn't have reflectors. It doesn't have the, the reflectors for the solar energy. It has a patio and everyone can go sunbathe and hang out and do whatever. And whoever comes up with the best inventions, you will have a patio and you will have a place where you can go sunbathe and you're going to have your own flat and you're going to have a big awesome place that's like 3,000 square feet and 3,000 square feet for your own residence inside the pyramid is gigantic because this pyramid is, it's kind of like small residences that feed into these common areas that everyone ha can go play pool at or they can go bowling or they can do whatever they want to do. I mean, maybe they could have, there could be shared office spaces. Um, so, um, the whole, the main idea is that we create a nice community atmosphere because I kind of imagine it like a, a university, you know, how I'm talking about, I've talked about how I want to create this university system of pyramids that are, that's, that's international. Well, I imagine the whole pyramid kind of like a university, which has, um, like if you live on, if you live on campus, it has dorm rooms and it has, it has, um, stores and it has different restaurants and it has all sorts of things. And the cool part about the way that we're doing this or that we would do this is that we have so much heat from the sun so we can really steam a lot of stuff. And I mean, that, that's what I think is kind of the going to, going to be the miracle of the whole thing is, uh, during these hours, you can go cook yourself because the steam's available. And like I said, uh, when the when the streets are glowing, you know the steam's going, and that's when you want to take a shower too. Um, but I, who knows? We might have so much electricity left after um, we generate it from the from the sun that we 
uh, don't have to only shower during certain hours, but I'm okay with only showering during certain hours. I'm okay with planning um, the entire community's schedule around not consuming resources. And that's the idea is we're going to come up with a new way of living and we want to figure out how to have this way of living um, be a happy way of living. Because in my experience, living on a college campus was one of the happiest things I ever did. I'd go down, I'd eat lunch with my friends, I'd eat, I, or I'd eat breakfast with my friends, and then I'd eat lunch with my friends, I'd eat dinner with my friends, and I got to see my friends everywhere, and um, there were places I could be alone, and there were common areas where I could go run into people I knew, and there was a great community atmosphere, and that's kind of how I imagine these pyramids. I imagine them as encouraging um, community. And so, um, hopefully we'll get some great people involved with it and we can do this.